It is a time when magic is more powerful than science, and only those who control the magic control destiny. They are the visionaries. Last episode, the Darkling Lord set about capturing the good knights of Prismos one by one. Help! Hold tight! First, the evil Virulina, disguised as a fair maiden, lured the unsuspecting Arzon into a dangerous trap. Darkling Lords, attack! <laughs> then, with the aid of magical vehicles driven by Mordred and Recon, the Darkling Lords hunted down Winterquick and the mighty Cryotech. Can't hold his bear form much longer. Now, chain him! Put him aboard. Galadria managed to escape and warn Leoric of Darkstone's treachery. Gentlemen, I'm sorry to disturb your festivities, but Cryotech has been captured by Darkstorm and his knights. Uh, this is what comes of peace treaties with Darkstorm. The parapets must be manned at all times. We can expect a vicious onslaught. But before Leora could take action, the Darkling Lords lay siege to his castle. And the remaining good knights were conquered and thrown into a deep dungeon. There, they agreed to form a sacred brotherhood called the Spectral Knights. Remember the wisdom given to me by my power staff? Yes, something cryptic about becoming one with the Circle of Light. I propose that right now we form the Spectral Knights, a sacred order dedicated to bringing light to the darkness of our world. May the light shine forever. May, May the, the light, light shine forever. forever. But was this too little and too late? <laughs> See how your light shines underwater. So, Darkstrom, how are we going to divide the booty? Divide the booty? What insolence! I am your lord and ruler. You swore loyalty to me. The spoils are mine. All mine. One moment. Swearing loyalty is one thing. Turning over all my money to you is quite another. Apologize now, and I will not subject you to my wrath. All that work and we get nothing? I hardly think that's fair. We could die paupers. What did you say, Lexor? I just said that I was shocked by Recon's insubordination. You coward! You expect to enrage me into doing your dirty work? Well, you have succeeded. You enraged me! <laughs> Greedy swine! What gives you the right to lay claim to the fruits of our labor? <laughs> Lying filth! You are a mercenary! You have no loyalty. For enough money, you would betray yourself! <laughs> and you, Mortred! Bootlicker! Have you no will of your own? Cinder, I'll just crack you out of principle! <laughs> Restrain him! Not until I'm compensated! I don't know how much longer I can keep treading water. I have an idea. I'll fly up with Leoric and we'll come back down and get you. <laughs> escaped after them! Uh, uh, wait a minute! You were in that cell!
Let's get Feral his magical totem back, then get our weapons, and round up Darkstorm and his cronies. Isn't that a little overambitious? Perhaps, but it's worth a try. What's going on? Darkstorm's given orders nobody's to touch the dagger assault. Oh, allow me to make your acquaintance. I am Sir Ace McGillicuddy Magical Repairs. I'm having a devil of a time repairing this magical dungeon. Uh, perhaps you could help me out. I... I have more important things to attend to. <sighs> it worked! I hope the others are having the same success in the armory. When Darkstorm finds out about this, he will dangle you from your heels. <laughs> Probably. And what do you suppose he'll do to you? Uh, I hadn't considered that. Why do you question the rightful rule of Darkstorm? King of the cliffs, Baron of the Bog Marsh? Why do you not answer me? This is too good to be true. For once, I agree. <sighs> By what creeps, what crawls, by what does not, let all that grows recede and rot! It's useless! Ah! Destruction! Knowledge! Wisdom! Fear! Speed! All useless! Sorry, Darkstorm, but Merklin warned you of their limits. You must return to the shrine to recharge them. And we'll make sure that never happens. Recon, evacuate us! Darkling Lords, to the vehicles! Quick, after them. If Recon and Mortred can activate vehicles, my guess is that you can too. Here goes nothing! What should I do? Anything but do it fast! Do you know how to pilot one of these? Don't worry. All right then, I'll just hang on for the real- hey! We're going to hit the wall! We're still alive and still very dangerous. Leoric and Cryotech, get ready to launch. We're ready. Launch! Dark 
storm, and may I suggest, allow me to do your work for you. Surely it is not right for one of your great power and awesome majesty to waste his time making traffic signs. Hmm, true. I do find this work personally degrading. That's because it is degrading. And I have no pity for you. It is your fault we are in this terrible predicament. Oh! Darkstorm, it is wretched here. Why don't you just use that key Merklin gave you? Because it is my decision to save it for when we truly need it. I'd say we truly need it now. I have heard there are agricultural difficulties. We've come here to the fields to see how we can be of assistance. If we don't get relief soon, well... The farms and, and then New Valaric are going to wither away. What can the Spectral Knights do to help? And the fact is, we don't know. We've watered it. Oh, we've spread fertilizer. And still nothing grows. Shucks, we'd do a rain dance if we thought it would do some good. Fact is, we're all out of ideas. Their problems might have something to do with a new age. Perhaps we should go to Merklin for advice. Yes, maybe he'll let us trade in the Darkling Lord's power staffs for a magical cure. Uh, it's worth a try. We will set out tomorrow and we will not return without a solution. I will stay behind to guard the Darkling Lords. <laughs> you are all pathetic! You forced me to use the key! I wonder what I'd do with it. And you call us pathetic! I guess you don't have to do anything. The Oryx, it was a mark of a great leader to promise your people you would not return until you have solved their problems. If I don't solve the problems, there will be nothing to return to. What do you mean, vanished? Well, we came in and they just kind of weren't here. We're sorry. The blame rests on my shoulders. I should never have let them out of my sight. Yes, this is a much nicer journey, now that there aren't a lot of surprises popping up. At my command, let loose the avalanche. You know, it might be a good idea to build an elevator to the shrine. Ready, ready. Then we could avoid this altogether. <laughs> I second that motion. And how would we power an elevator? Well, I was thinking we could have oxen in the valley and... Spectral Knights, beware! The Darkling Lords have escaped! That's Ektar. Drat! Loose the avalanche! <laughs> disappeared as quickly as they came. Thank you, Ektar. Were it not for you, we'd be dead. The truth is, I failed in my mission to contain them in the prison. I doubt that. I sense the hand of magic in their escape. Well, enough talk. Let us head for the shrine. So, you have come to rekindle your magic. Yes, I am afraid we have spent it defending ourselves against the evil Spectral Knights. Rubbish! Let us settle this dispute forever! Right! right. No. Yeah. Yeah. There will be no fighting in the shrine! Let me be clear on this point. I care nothing for your petty squabbles. I have concerns of my own. Now, if you wish more magic, you will venture on a quest for... The Dragon's Eye. Dragon's oh, Eye? Silence! Do you think I give you magic out of selflessness? Of course not. I do it because I want you to be instruments of my will. But to show that I intend to be fair, I will allow you to dip your power staffs into the sacred pool one last time for free. 
No, here is your map. We shall return with the dragon's eye. And why have you stayed behind? Because we refuse your demands. Darkling lords, attack! By nature's hand, by craft, by art, what once was one now fly apart! Oh, mist filled pits, dark, dank, and clear! Touch all before me with frost finger fear! By what creeps, what crawls, by what does not, let all that grows recede and rot! Of me. Decay him! Oh. I cannot attack the holder of the orb! Very well then, we shall attack him ourselves! Please, Merlin, I had nothing to do with Darkstorm's plot! Please! Quiet, coward! Important things must be done. Now, get me the dragon's eye. Well, we're here. Spooky. Just an old industrial complex. Wait, what was that? I fear it is something spawned by this age of magic that we do not know yet. Well, better to venture forward than to be caught from behind by the Darkling Lords. It's a bit late for that! Cinder, release your beast! By nature's hand, by craft, by art, what once was one now fly apart! There's some nasty magic here! Speak to Merklin about an obedience school for that beast. Quickly, in there! Don't let them get ahead of us! A techno dragon. And that must be the dragon's eye. But who's holding it? Why don't you ask your knowledge staff? A whim, a thought, and more is sought. Awake my mind, thy will be wrought. What do you wish to know? Who is that up there? He is the wizard Volkama, believed until recently to be legendary. Volkama was in the same circle of wizardry as Merklin, Bogavis, Wizesquizar, and others. Techno Dragon, smite them! Get back! Think I'm stupid? Don't answer that. I think we'll have a better chance in the incinerator. Our armor's heat resistant. Then let's jump for it. Three suns aligned, pour forth the light, and fill the Arthur's bow with might! Kravix, see if you can make the dragon feel fear. I owe you no such favor. Then you owe it to yourself. Perhaps you're right. Oh, mist-filled pits, dark, dank, unclear. Touch all before me with frost-fingered fear. Ah, Merklin gave them too great a power. <laughs> the wizard escapes. Not for long. Sheath these feet in the driving gale. Make swift these legs or land I sail. Hand over the dragon's eye. Catch! Get it! Watch out! I got it! I got it! After it! Surrounded by incompetence! Did you bring the dragon's eye? We did. Good. I will charge your power staffs once more. 
I'm sorry, that's not good enough. What do you mean by that insolence? Look, we know you need the Dragon's Eye. Without it, the Sacred Pool will lose its magical power. All right, I will give you magic to help your cities. But never tell the Darkling Lords of the power you have wielded over me. Believe me, we are not so stupid. Here. I find this guy sneaking out. Discard him. But I can be of great use to you. I know things of magic and of Merklin that can help you. Put him with the rest of the things we have scavenged. Maybe we shall have use for him later. Leoric, I know nothing of farming. That's the beauty of this magic. You don't have to. So how long we gotta wait to see if this works? Well, Merklin said it would take just a few minutes. 